Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Chasta here at Soundwaves TV. We're on a break, but you know what? When you get Mr. Pacifica in here, you got to be like, no, we're doing something special. Mr. Robbie Bancroft, how Hi. are you? Dude, good to see you. I thought good you were in New Orleans, you. and now you're here. So. I know. It's a magic trick that I do. I'm just boom, boom, yeah. and then I'm right back. Well, I hope you had a good time. Thank you for uh, I did. making this special occasion. We got some good news to exchange. Dude, there's a lot going on. Okay, Lots. so we haven't seen each other since the Christmas episode, which yes. is a cry and shame. So yes. catch me. I know. <laughs> what is up with that? Catch me up. I, I, in, in case you missed the Christmas episode, Robbie is one of my oldest friends in Pacifica, one of yeah. the first people I met a thousand years Definitely. ago. <laughs> Kindred spirits here. Jay was my daycare teacher. He yeah. taught my little brothers how to play drums. Yes. So we've been trying to work together as much as possible, given our busy time. schedules. Yeah, exactly. um, So Dennis, thank you for making this happen. That's right. He's the magic sauce, as it were. Yeah, and follow right. him on Instagram for more behind-the-scenes uh, look at what's yes. going on in Dennis's life. <laughs> yes, now you're putting the pressure on. <laughs> I'm the work husband now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. If you know, you know. this out. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> he can't cut it out. Okay, you know, perfect. You know. All right, so you did Blues and Brews. Unfortunately, Correct. I missed that, but catch us up on how that went and, and yes. the whole nine. Uh, so we're not going to go all the way back to Christmas. I don't have a concussion anymore, thank God. Yeah. Fast forward, um, the Economic Development Committee. Um, actually, we have a new Economic Development Manager. So you're going to start seeing more economic development events and kind of efforts to support small businesses. Yeah. Their mission is to support the local businesses and attract new ones which we're all about. Yeah. So they came up with Blues and Brews and a little bit of Bluegrass too. It's the second year they brought it back, but they needed a nonprofit to get involved because mm -hmm. of the ABC license and porn. So they actually did a, um, what do you call it? Like a, not an audition. <laughs> but, you know, that a, works. A grant American Idol. Yeah. yeah, I had to sing. So, you know, <laughs> yes, bust out some obsolete man and they loved yes. it. <laughs> so they're like, yes, um, that perks. <laughs> um, so, uh, Pacific's Care actually poured all the beer. Shout out to Humble Sea for um, letting us pour their beer. That's awesome. And then um, this is the first exclusive announcement of many. We were able to raise over $5,000 for Pacific's Care. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's great. And you didn't even know that number, so that was genuine. I Do you didn't. see that? No, I didn't. That's great. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yeah. I love the work that Pacific's Care. Thank you. You, I, you know about it. I know all about it. My in-laws uh, are really community-driven people and, yes. and help as much as they can. And they've been talking about and I've been giving to Pacific's Care for years. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, so that's that's great. Okay, and all that so money goes to Pacifica Resource Center, yeah. Child Care Services, Youth Services Bureau, and our Senior Services. So it's the only community foundation where you can just kind of like, it's like investing, set it and forget it. You give us the money and we'll make sure it goes to all four corners of uh, the core agency needs in Pacifica. So that's why I'm there and that's why I plug it. I, I love that. And I know that I said this to you uh, at Christmas time, but it's that think globally, act locally yes. idea. You could actually right? make change locally. That's yeah. why, you know, on my off time, I'm a politician because you could actually make change or at least I'm optimistic enough to believe so in your off time you don't have off time you do <laughs> yeah, this all the, is my off time you, you do all the things notice. that's why we call him Mr. Pacifica because yes. you are everywhere all and at only once shirts I have that are clean kind of but I got some chocolate on this one so. please <laughs> you know what speaking of shirts please tell me you're gonna do a Mr. Pacifica line of merch yeah I'm gonna sort. I'm gonna have your socks on one on love one foot it. and then me on the other I yeah. love it that's <laughs> it's funny you say that because my artist who does all my um character work yeah he's uh, on his honeymoon right now <laughs> so I'm like, as soon as you get back, he's got to do got it. Like five things we need, we need to draw. So. I will give you money when we okay. get done here She's to so buy. Generous. I'm not kidding right. to buy a Mr. Pacifica, whatever you got, shirt, It'll hat, jacket, hat, koozie, I'm, whatever. Hat oh, koozies are coming because Breaker serves beer now. Man, See? you are good. <laughs> I'm on it. I pay attention to what yeah, you do. More gift cards for you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Breakers is a sponsor, but we loved Robbie yes, before that. Yes, I will that's say true. That. Yes. I will say that. Okay, so let's talk about Fogfest because there's been a lot of chatter yeah. online about there what's is. happening with Fogfest this year. Is it happening? Is it not? Yeah. Talk us through this. So uh, that's where I got the Got Fog hat on. Thanks for John the Sign Guy. I didn't realize I was going to get roped into joining the committee, but um, you saw the kind of call to action, that SOS, yeah. and it was serious. And I've tried to fight it off as much as I could. You know, a lot of us in Pacifica are, wear so many hats, literally, mm -hmm. and that uh, the idea of joining another committee with like the caliber and like the needs and the demand of Fogfest, it actually like scared some people away and it burns people out really quick. Mm. So uh, I fought it off as long as I could, but I did go to a couple of meetings just to kind of be a conduit between the community and the organizers. Yeah. Um, you know, communication is a skill that I'm, I'm trying to hone and, and it is valuable. You know, everything's marketing, everything's branding. Yeah. Um, and I, self admittedly, they know that the messaging around the Fogfest hasn't always been the strongest. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know that it's, it's actually a massive fundraiser for over like 50 or 55 community organizations yeah, yeah they just think it's like oh a bunch of people just come down and get drunk and take over pacifica and how does it benefit us so yeah. i wanted to go in and get those those answers and i got 99 percent of them and i decided that you know pacifica fog fest is is pacifica culture yeah, uh, we already lost siebel and if we were going to lose fog fest cj from winters is like that's like losing a hundred 
uh, sea bowls. It you is know? so absolutely. I couldn't take <laughs> I couldn't take that. So you're like not on my watch. Carve the schedule out, Dad. I love you. Thank you for holding it down at Breakers. But as long as he's on the tile, <laughs> yeah, uh, I can be behind the scenes and and going to meetings and stuff. So. Uh, this is airing. Oh, today is May something. Yeah, May <laughs> and, something. Yeah, magic. Uh, this weekend, if if we do our math right, mm-hmm. um, Kim and CJ and Corinne Winters X Longboard, they're throwing a benefit concert. Yeah. At Winters. Yeah. And all funds from that are gonna go to supporting the Fog Fest because it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to put this on. But then we try to give at least a hundred thousand dollars back. Mm. Um, don't quote me because it does determine how many organizations volunteer but it, sure. it's just thinking round easy numbers here. yeah it's yeah. it's yeah. crazy but if you're a community organization we need you to volunteer day of yeah um if you're a community member and you want to get involved we're looking for a little bit of legal help and we're looking for um sponsorships of course uh, any other fundraising ideas and then literally just like good vibes and support because you can get a lot done with like you know good people in the room yeah um so if you can't make the meetings just keep in touch with me yeah and i'll be sharing more information um f- at fog festival is our instagram mm-hmm. and i'm actually not running it which is great because I use, I'm like the only social media guy. In I was gonna. I'm shocked by that. Yeah. yeah. So Chris and Alex from Sharp Park Tap Room. Okay. They're still uh, waiting to get a few things approved before they open. Okay. And they have invest. You know, hit, not hidden investment, but they have investment on Palmetto. So I tried to round up all the businesses who believe in the Fog Fest, but also will benefit the most because some folks, you know, are like, oh, it blocks this or it does this, but like, let's get you in the room so yeah. we can have these hard talks because. You know, this has been going on since the 80s. Yeah. And I've been tired of hearing it after, you know, 36, 37 years. This is the 37th annual Fog Fest. So I want to kind of right some of those wrongs and just make people better in the rooms I'm in and then see how it goes from there. You always do that. You always make Thank things you. better in the rooms that you're <laughs> yeah. in. You it's make this hard, room though. better. <laughs> no. Uh, look, I I think it's important for people to realize how much does go into Fog Fest because it's very easy. I've lived here almost 20 years. Yeah. And to me, Pacifica is a Pacifica without Fog Fest. Like that, it just doesn't. I it doesn't feel right. Yeah. I can't even. When I saw this online, I, I couldn't even fathom that being an idea that it wouldn't happen. So mm. I feel you on the fact that it's like not on my watch. We we got to keep yeah. this. It is a pillar of the community. One hundred percent. And if if I would have went to the room, and I I used to tell him because like I'm not officially anything. I'm just Robbie. So when I went into the room and I, I had hope, I went to the next meeting and then next meeting. Next meeting. Now yeah. we're four or five meetings in. We have a freaking Slack set up for the Fog Fest, which is like amazing in Pacifica because yeah. some people are like, oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. so, so the people who are in the room and the new folks that joined, um, we're up to about 21 committee members now. Yeah. So you're not going to see any more SOS. You know, the Titanic's not going anymore. We, we are the life raft. Um, there's enough room oh, on great. the on the door for all of us. That's great. You know, don't let Jack go down. So. Don't let Jack go down. <laughs> yeah, there's we're, room we're on the door. Every, there's, yeah, there's room, room on the for door. Everyone. Don't don't buy yes. into that. What I will say to you too is, you know, not to get into the importance of age, but there is a highlight on that, and I'll say that totally. because my in-laws have said that a lot. Well, you know? I work on the board with with Dr. Bill. Yeah, my my father-in-law. <laughs> yes, who shout adores out to you, Dr. Bill. Yeah. Yes, and so they. And I wouldn't say be there if it wasn't for him either. Yeah. So he's such an inspiration. He and his wife Dinah. I mean, they're amazing humans, but they always say like, if, if new people, young, fresh blood, they don't get involved, yeah. none of this will happen. Because he goes, he goes, we need to get some fresh bodies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, ah! we're people too. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, he like invented the the family fest of Fog yeah. Fest. So the fact that I get to sit next to him at the Pacific Cares meetings and we kind of keep in touch and um, he supports, he actually was the first one to write a check to the new um, Fog Fest committee after they spoke at Mary Beer's Pacifica Collaborative meeting. So mm. it's all about collaboration and community. The it's Fog Fest doesn't event. exist. Pacifica doesn't exist without this. You know, yeah. there's a lot of hot topics coming up on on city council stuff. So like, just please, whatever you're passionate about, just get involved, get engaged. Yeah. And um, just be open to listening and working together. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put all the information on the benefit yes. uh, in the caption, in the description box, yada, 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 what the kids say. So it, is it <laughs> happening? Is, it, like, so this we, is the crazy part yeah i'm here to announce that it's happening but i have no idea what the last two <laughs> what the last weekend of fog fest is, is of the, september yeah is it the 28th and the 29th well, let's just look in real time yeah. this shows you again how like it's, is it. it is go Raw time real robbie b as it can get uh, yeah right boom so yes please pacifica if you uh, love pacifica as much as i do please support the fog fest it is not perfect so you know if you have some constructive criticism we're open to it like mm-hmm. we have the capacity now we have the team um and again i'm all about reaching across the table being that ear to everyone yeah so we will see you september 28th and 29th that's right but i need you to come to the fundraisers and i need you to sponsor and i need you to show up and support as much as you can yeah. because we don't want like a half 
I don't think you say the A word on here, you baby. Can. Half-ass. We don't want to half-ass fog fest. <laughs> no, we, we want don't. it to improve. Like we want to get better and better and better. So um, there's some new blood, there's some old blood, and it's gonna work really well together. Like yeah. I wouldn't be there and I wouldn't continue to show up if I didn't believe in the team and in the group and in this community. Yeah. And so yeah, please support at Fog Festival is our Instagram. And then uh, we'll see you at Winners from 1 to about 7 p.m. Yeah. And the cool thing about this, it's $25, but you get dinner and um, Quirk uh, Seltzer, Lola from Quirk. She works I at Winners. I love Lola. So you get yeah. dinner and a drink for $25. You can't even really do that in Pacific Lola, are you making Plus money show. on this? I'm no, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's all love and this. marketing because <laughs> all the industry <laughs> folks are coming together to support one of the industry leading events. It's the biggest and longest running like Again, this is our Super Bowl. We cannot lose right, this, right. or we're going to lose Pacifica. Um, until that changes, I'll come back and tell you, but that's where it is in, in my heart of hearts. Dude, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. I've been proud of you for a thousand years since I met you, and you're always gonna be pulled into these moments and these rooms and these meetings because yeah. you're Mr. Pacifica. You're Robbie Bancroft, yeah. you make stuff happen. You know what it's I mean? It's a blessing and a curse, but I did ask for it, and um, yeah, if I can inspire and help organize and get you excited, and, yeah. and Dennis, then I will, I'll do that you know, 10 out of 10 times. Well, so thank you for being here. Thank you thank for trusting you. us to help get the word out. So we're going to see you at Fogfest and we better see you at the fundraiser before that, obviously. Yes. Fundraiser Again. 519 Fogfest, September 28th and 29th. There's probably 10 more events. Oh, Pacific's Care, uh, Double Gold Day, June. Oh, man, I, I, did, I did see or that. There's it's a on Instagram. Day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just we're online. Follow us. Uh, Soundwaves, they're going to step up their uh, social media game because I have a feeling I'm going to get roped into that too, That's willingly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to hang out with you? So, yes. Um, yeah, just super grateful and uh, such a big fan of you. And I'm actually headed to New Orleans on a little bachelor party. So, oh, yeah, uh, that's right. Hopefully, I, I survive and I'll come back and we'll just kill it. All right. That sounds good. I love you, brother. I love you more. Robbie Ryan Bancroft, wait for the merch. Mr. Pacifica, it's coming. But I'm buying the first one. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys.